Today I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite retro game, Lost Vikings. The Lost Vikings. It's my one of my favorite retro games because it's first one from Blizzard, which I played when I was young. Of course, when it was released in 1993, I think April 29th. Blizzard that time was called Silicon and Synapse. It was released for Super Nintendo, uh, then it was converted into Amiga, uh, Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. Later on you could play it on Game Boy Advance and etc etc. Now we can play it on uh, Battle.net, so you can have it on PC, you can have it on PlayStation 4 and my gameplay will be from PlayStation 5. So I don't believe there's people out there who don't know about Lost Vikings, or maybe they, they do, I don't know. Why I actually so fixating uh, about uh, uh, retro games is because I'm that old. I'm that old that retro games once in my life were called games or new games. <laughs> If you don't know about Lost Vikings, I will give you a brief story about it. So, the three Vikings, we've got Eric the Swift, Baleog the Fierce and Olaf the Stout. They get kidnapped by Tomator, Emperor of the alien Crutonian Empire, for an intergalactic zoo. They are able to escape the ship, but they lost in various periods of time. So they must traverse various bizarre locations and eventually confront and defeat Tomato to find their way home. I'm not gonna be covering full gameplay because YouTube is full of it. I just want to share with you my favorite game and a little bit story behind it. This is how I fell in love with Blizzard and uh, from that game up to now I was playing mainly Blizzard games, of course World of Warcraft. I was playing Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3. I was playing Diablo a lot as well. Uh, Overwatch a little bit. Starcraft of course, but not that much because uh, strategic games are not really my cup of tea. I really bad at it. So, uh, but, uh, Lost Vikings, yeah, my, my favorite one. So let's have a look. So as you can see, you've got three Vikings. Everyone got different abilities. Um, so they have to work together to finish each level and to find their way back home. There's a second part, Lost Vikings 2, which was released in 1997. And to be honest, I just discovered this. Why I was playing this game on PlayStation 5, uh, I didn't realize there was a second part. Uh, maybe because when it was released, I was finishing my high school. I was start working uh, so I will start parting and then I went to army so somehow this slipped through my net and I didn't realize that so uh, it looks like I will discover something new almost 25 years after <laughs> for all my life or basically since I came to England I was trying to find this game and play it on different various platforms uh, but I hate emulators and on phone, it's, it's, phones are quite sloppy, slacky um, when you play retro, retro games on them. So um, I was quite happy when I saw uh, that Blizzard released a uh, Battle.net version of their retro games and there's a lot of Vi Lost Vikings there. I couldn't wait to play it to be honest. Mm. So we, uh, yeah, let's could that jibber jabber and let's focus on the uh, gameplay so eric eric can r run faster than other two can jump and can bash through some walls and enemies with his helmet baleok can kill enemies with his sword or from distance with his bow the bow can also be used to switch to hit switches from distance olaf can block enemies or shooting enemies with his shield and he use his shield as a hang glider. Also Olaf's shield can be used as a platform to, for Balog to walk over and to allow Eric to reach higher areas in game. I think Lost Vikings was a hit, was one of uh, one of the favorite game in the world I think because they had coverage through area um, in different games. So um, 
they make appearance in the 93 game Rock and Roll Racing, which you can find on Battle.net as well. Olaf can be unlocked as a hidden character, while Balog appears on several billboards advertising Viking Cola. In the 32 version of uh, Black Thorn, as the three Vikings appear in the secret area in the second snow level. I never played that game, so I'm not gonna show you this. Or maybe I will Google it for you, or maybe you can Google it for yourself if you want to find uh, if you want to f find out. The Lost Vikings also had cameo appearance in Interplay's game called Clay Fighter. Uh, they also appear in World of Warcraft Cataclysm expansion. They feature prominently in the quest line for the Alliance Fraction in the Badlands area of Eastern Kingdom Kingdoms. In World of Warcraft's uh, Warlords of Drenanor, Olaf can appear as one of the random daily quest NPC. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, you can find it yourself, you can google it if you want. All I want to do is just to show you my favorite game and a short gameplay. I'm not gonna be showing you full gameplay because you can play it on Battle.net if you've got it or you can watch some gameplays on YouTube. I don't wanna be that boring guy who will just talk for full, full gameplay. Uh, I love this game even now, I've played a few hours already on PlayStation 5 and it's awesome game, especially if you wanna chill after a hard day at work or ask me if you had a hard day at home with boys. So anyway, I'm gonna be finishing now. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, try this game. Honestly, I recommend it. It's awesome. It's quite complicated as for now, and, and it's still enjoyable. I love it, and I'm going back to play it again. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and bell button to give me ego boost and give me energy to create something more in these hard days as a dad with two kids at home i have to record and edit these videos in nine time <laughs> okay that's all for now see you later alligator